Hello and how are you? I'm here to talk about a nine gap. So this is very important for the exam purpose. So let's review what is a nine gap. So first of all, I'm going to review the definition of a nine gap. So before starting, I will tell you a nines are negatively charged and gap is, is there any gap between? So the definition is difference between primary measured cations and primary measured anions. So we are checking for the difference between primary measured cations and primary measured anions. So cations are positive charged ions like sodium, potassium, calcium and hydrogen ions which are positive and anions are in green and anions are negative charged ions like bicarbonate chloride ions which are negative. So how to calculate anion gap? This is also important. You must know this formula, how to calculate. So first you have to do is first add anions negatively charged together like chloride plus bicarbonate and subtract with sodium. I will repeat, first add anions then subtract with sodium. Then you will get your anion gap. Okay, here we go. This is the formula. What is the normal value of anion gap? Normal anion gap is 6 to 12 or 8 to 16. So you can remember both, but uh, I will focus you for the exam is 6 to 12. For the exam like USMLE. So you have to remember 6 to 12. Now, example to calculate. Suppose if you get the case scenario or vignette about acid base disturbance and uh, you have a sodium like 130 chloride is 85 and bicarb uh, bicarbonate is 12 so you have to check anion gap if the question are asked about is there any gap between the anions or anion gap is there or you are checking for anion gap metabolic acidosis if you think so how to calculate is the same formula you have to add both of uh, anions and subtract with sodium so here we go 130 85 and 12 well, okay we add first anions 85 plus 12 we have to subtract with 130 which is sodium cations so cations minus anion is 33 so the normal is 6 to 12 or 8 to 16 anion gap so what do you say we got 833 so a nine gap is there let's review another example here we see in sodium is 140 chloride is 101 bicarbonate is 23 so 140 minus 124 is 16 so a nine gap is there just think about two values 6 to 12 or 8 to 16 but uh, for the exam purpose I told you like you have to uh, you know think about 6 to 12 they won't uh, make you confused with the values okay a non gap is equal to 16 here it is normal now what are the annoying gap metabolic acidosis so here's a very you know famous uh, mnemonic to uh, to remember about meta uh, annoying gap metabolic acidosis the diseases which lead to uh, annoying gap metabolic acidosis so here is mud piles mud piles m is for methanol u for uremia d for diabetic ketoacidosis p for propylene glycol i is for isopropyl l is for lactic acidosis e is for ethylene glycol and s is for salicylates aspirin um, and uh, just think about aspirin it has like property it makes mixed uh, 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 mixed acid base disorder like respiratory first respiratory alkalosis plus metabolic acidosis because aspirin what it does it produce lactic acidosis uh, it produce lactic acid and keto acid what I want you to tell is it uh, later on aspirin leads to metabolic acidosis now what are the normal anion gap metabolic acidosis? 
so we already review that anion gap metabolic acidosis now i'm focusing on the normal anion gap metabolic acidosis which is also called non anion gap metabolic acidosis there are two conditions for the exam you have to think about is renal tubular acidosis and diarrhea so i remember like a clue or uh, you can say mnemonic rd so rta and diarrhea which are non anion gap metabolic acidosis now how to differentiate between when you get in the question how to think about it is uh, when you have to first you have to check anion gap if there is no any anion gap you think about it is non anion gap uh, I, i mean to say is if anion gap is normal you think that there is no anion gap so you will have differential diagnosis of rta renal tubular acidosis and diarrhea so how to differentiate both of them for to differentiate both of them you have to calculate or check for is there any urine urinary anion gap range so for normal anion gap metabolic acidosis or non anion gap metabolic acidosis you have to check urinary anion gap is there any urinary anion gap range is there or not the formula is sodium plus potassium minus chloride so now it is used to differentiate between rta or diarrhea now check urinary anion gap range so we are checking so the normal urinary anion gap is less than 10 and abnormal if it is more than 20 so check urine urinary anion gap if it is positive think about renal causes like renal tubular acidosis urinary ammonium ion is low so think about urinary ammonium ion is low just for uh, to remember ammonium ion is low and uh, urinary anion gap is positive for rta what do you think about diarrhea of course it will be negative urine uh, urinary anion gap is negative which is which means gi causes like diarrhea let me go back and review again for the normal anion gap metabolic acidosis there are two example rta and diarrhea which are non anion gap metabolic acidosis so we have to check urinary anion gap range to differentiate between both of them when it is positive it is rta renal tubular acidosis urinary ammonium ion is low and if it is negative gi causes like diarrhea thanks for watching and subscribe for more thank you so much